Hi, thanks for joining us. I'm Tinika, and this is Essential Wholesale's Kitchen Chemistry. Today we're going to make a oil cleanser for problem skin. So let's get started. Okay, thanks for joining us. Uh, today we're making an oil cleanser for problem skin. And if you've used an oil cleanser before, you know how great they are. And if you haven't, well, welcome to the world of oil cleansers. Um, we have a great blog about how good they are, if you want to check out our blog. Um, okay, to get started, you'll need ingredients. You'll need certified organic castor oil, certified organic sunflower oil. You'll need some delicious plum oil. You'll need salicylic acid powder. And finally, a little non-GMO vitamin E. Okay, let's get started. So, you'll also need a hot plate and a way to heat up your oils. And the reason that we have to heat the oils is to um, help the salicylic acid dissolve into the, um, into the oil. So actually, I'm going to add the oils off the burner because I don't need to start an oil fire. And I'm simply going to add the sunflower oil And castor oil. And I'm going to heat to about 125 to 130 Fahrenheit. Of course, not Celsius, Fahrenheit. Okay, so we'll, we're going to wait for that to heat up. I might give it a little stir just to blend those oils together better. And we'll just wait for those to heat up. Okay, so we've heated our oil and I went a little bit above 125. I'm actually, it looks like hovering around 150. Um, so that's just fine. Um, now I'm going to add the salicylic acid powder and stir while I'm adding. And actually, come on, get in there. So the reason that we're adding salicylic acid is it's a really great beta hydroxy acid. You'll see it in a lot of um, a lot of products for problem skin, and it's a great thing to add to your cleansing oil routine um, if you have problem skin. Okay, so we're just going to really give that some time to dissolve. Um, salicylic acid can be a little tricky to work with, um, which is why you want to heat your oil before you add it. And make sure that it's fully dissolved before you move on to the next step. So I can see on the edges here that it's not dissolved quite yet. It takes a little bit of work to get it there. And a little time. And you may find that your oil cools down too much before it's fully dissolved and you have to heat it again. And that's fine. Just uh, try to keep it below 160 Fahrenheit, of course. And you'll see it starts to clear up again. It was pretty cloudy when we first added it. And as it dissolves into the oil, it'll start to clear up again. And you may be tempted at this point to just go ahead and add the other ingredients, but um, trust me, you want to wait and make sure they're all, all the salicylic acid is fully dissolved because you don't want to overheat your plum oil when you add it. So while this is mixing and we're waiting for it to dissolve, to dissolve um, a few of the ingredients. So castor oil is a great um, cleansing oil ingredient, especially for problem skin. Um, so is uh, sunflower oil. And uh, the plum oil is, is just a wonderful emollient on its own. However, I really wanted to bring the aroma of the plum oil. It has a beautiful cherry almond aroma. And because this is for um, troubled skin, I did not want to add any essential oils um, to this blend, uh, to this particular oil cleanser. Okay. So you can see it's being a little difficult and those spots are having some hard time working out. So I'm going to just look at where it's at. So it's at about 140. So I might just, I'm going to move this and put it on the burner for just a second to heat it back up to 150 and see if I can get the rest of these particles to dissolve.
Okay, so now that we've mixed the salicylic acid into our oil blend thoroughly, um, it took about another, I'd say, 10 minutes um, to just kind of work and mix it in. So just take your time and be patient. Eventually everything will dissolve. Um, now we can go ahead and add our plum oil. So we're just gonna go ahead and pour that right in there. And that's, like I said, just to give it that sweet almond cherry cake aroma since I'm gonna be using this every day as my new cleanser. And then of course vitamin E um, is a great antioxidant and uh, it helps prevent your oil blend from going rancid. So it'll keep longer. Just add those in there and mix it up. And you have a fabulous oil cleanser specifically made and designed and formulated for um, problem skin. So uh, if you, again, if you haven't used an oil cleanser before, it's a little different than a regular cleanser. You use it on your dry face and you rub it in a little bit and then you add warm water and then you wash it off with a washcloth. It's great at removing makeup and uh, getting your face nice and clean without stripping the natural oils. So we hope you enjoy your new Problem Skin Oil Cleanser. Thanks for joining us today. Be sure to subscribe for more great videos.